Hi everyone, welcome back this week. Now in the US, according to the latest official data, COVID hospitalization rates have increased for seven straight weeks. Now for high-risk patients, meaning those with chronic illnesses and immunocompromised, that something probably is on your uh, radar. Now this year, we do have a few more choices for the COVID-19 vaccine, uh, which includes the updated protein-based Novavax vaccine in addition to the mRNA vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer that will be available in the next few weeks here in the U.S. Now, if I were to get one, which one would I prefer? Now, so let's break down some of the latest available science behind the similarities and differences between Novavax and mRNA vaccine collectively. Okay. Now, first, we have a study published in June 2023 by a group of UK researchers. Now, this is a single blinded randomized trial looking at various immune responses when Novavax is given as a booster to people who had the AstraZeneca viral vector vaccine or the two different mRNA vaccines. Vaccines. Now, first, let's look at the similarities. Uh, is that uh, anti-spike antibodies from all vaccine combos do wane over time, and it doesn't matter which type of vaccine. Now, what about the differences? First, is that the mRNA Novavax uh, combo does seem to wane slower than the mRNA mRNA combo. Now, in addition to that, the AstraZeneca uh, homologous combos wane the slowest for the first 112 days. mRNA Novavax heterologous combos wane slower than mRNA mRNA homologous combos in the first. 56 days. Now, there are virtually no differences between Pfizer and Moderna mRNA in this study. Now, so here in the U.S., uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine was only given to clinical trial participants. So for majority of the population, uh, the initial vaccines would be either Pfizer or Moderna mRNA vaccine. So um, this finding suggests heterologous boosting with Novavax potentially provides a slightly longer lasting effect than boosting again with the same mRNA technology. Now, I think it is a uh, quite crucial point here, especially for some people who are concerned with even a mild infection deeper into the colder season. So the extended duration of the anti-spike IgG from heterologous boosting with the Novavax could be more beneficial for them to last through the winter season. Now, there are several cautionary notes. The, the study did point out several things that are quite important for people considering getting any COVID vaccine this season. Now, first of all, is that generally speaking, protein-based Novavax uh, vaccine stimulates lower antibody production than mRNA vaccine at the beginning. Now, on the other hand, all the tested COVID vaccine, no matter if it is a viral vector-based, uh, AstraZeneca, mRNA from Pfizer or Moderna or protein Novavax, uh, all have very similar T-cell or cellular stimulation profile, so they all have quite similar effects against serious illness for a given age group. Now, they also observed that participants with greater uh, BMI or body mass index had less immune response with the Novavax booster. Now, that's an observation without any explanation. However, previous studies and a systematic review have also observed a similar trend in which people with greater BMI responded less to other COVID vaccine. Now, so that is uh, the immunological response side of the story. Now, what about the side effects, which are equally, if not even more important, right? Now, first, let's look at the similarities. A retrospective study published in early 2023 analyzed a WHO global drug monitoring database to look for myopericarditis rate associated with Novavax. And based on the data, they saw 61 cases associated with Novavax. 50 of them were from Australia. None of the 61 cases were fatal, with an average age of 35.5 years old, and 62 of them were male. Now, they concluded that Novavax showed a similar increased risk of myopericarditis as the mRNA vaccines. So in terms of this serious side factor, 
there are no differences. Now, this study did discuss several hypotheses for the increased risk of myocarditis or myopericarditis, but if different technology yield a very similar rate of side effects, then it certainly raises the questions uh, of the antigen or the spike protein itself. Now, now, are there any differences in terms of other side effects? All right. So a older study published in The Lancet did show us that when Novavax was used as a heterologous booster, it had much less common side effects compared to all other mix-and-match boosters. Notice that Novavax as a booster has a much uh, lower rate of myopain at the injection site and with little to no reports of moderate and severe pain. And the overall common side effect profile of Novavax is much milder than the mRNA vaccines. Now, so in summary, Novavax stimulates fewer antibodies than the mRNA vaccines, uh, but it appears to have a more durable response over time as a booster, meaning it wanes slower than the mRNA vaccines. In terms of cellular responses, every COVID vaccine as a booster at this point appeared to be uh, behaving very similar. Now, Novavax appears to have uh, valid uh, myopericarditis concerns when compared to Pfizer and Moderna, but it does have less pain and fever associated with the injection. So, coming back, okay, before I answer my title question, which one I'd prefer? in 2023. Now, I have to declare that I have no financial interest in any of these vaccines, and I do not uh, represent health officials' recommendation. My pick is only based on my assessment of available science surrounding the given topic. Now, if I were to get a booster, my choice of variant at this point in time uh, would be Novavax. Now, this is mostly based on its milder side effect profile. Now, I don't think anyone like pain or fever from vaccinations, right? Now, aiming for the highest antibody responses is no longer the most sensible choice because of rapid waning. So regardless of any COVID-19 vaccines, the realistic expectation is to prevent or reduce hospitalization for high-risk patients. Uh, at, least, at least that's the, what the vaccines currently can do or what they are aiming for, even from the manufacturer or from the official send, uh, you know, side of the um, opinion. So uh, with that perspective, so far, you know, all the available data showed very similar profile across all available COVID-19 vaccines uh, in the U.S. market. So uh, in the U.K., I'm, uh, the AstraZeneca also show very similar profile as well in terms of preventing um, serious uh, illness. So that is my pick, okay, based on whatever is available. That's my informed decision. Now, would I actually go get one right away in a few weeks? Um, probably not, uh, just because my informed decision is that uh, I'm quite healthy, okay? And uh, I think I have built up immune responses. Uh, I do get exposed to COVID patients, uh, people surrounding me, and I have never, fortunately, never developed any uh, symptomatic disease as far as I know. So uh, I think during those exposures, probably my immune response has been stimulated as well. So at this point, there's no available evidence uh, give me uh, enough information for me to decide to get it right away. So, but if I were to get one, eventually a little bit down in the seasons or maybe something happened, uh, and I would I would get Novavax. Now, would I, what would I suggest my parents to get? They are older. Uh, if they choose to get one, uh, I think uh, if they can get a Novavax one, uh, it would be better because, uh, for example, my mom always got fever uh, when she got, got you know, all these booster in the previous year. So, I would tell her to get Novavax just because of less of a chance to get fever. So that is my assessment. And lastly, thank you for all of you showed support and left comments in last week's video. Now, I do read them very thoroughly, even though I may not have time to reply each uh, one of them. So again, I'm here to provide unbiased medical and health information for you all to make informed decisions and to live a healthier life. Now, that is all for this week. I hope to 
see you again in the next video. Uh, meanwhile, please take good care of yourself and your family. Bye.